it is the butt crack a dog. But we got gas, we got goodies, we're gonna get on the highway and we're gonna get to Pittsburgh. Back in the car, that was such a good expo. It was huge, ton of vendors, ton of stuff. Lots of like miscellaneous, they had little moss balls and beetles. I'm tempted to go back in for some beetles. I don't know, but it was a good day. Worth the drive. I got a ton of stuff in the back. I'm gonna show you guys when I get home. For now, we are going to do some stuff around Pittsburgh. Enjoy Pittsburgh for the day. So, let's go.
strawberry banana smoothie and then things. So good. So finally getting home after a whole day down in Pittsburgh, a little bit south of me in Erie. Um, it was a great day. I had such a fun time. It was a big expo, a lot of people, a lot of vendors. Um, I got there early at 8 a.m. I'm so used to expo starting at 9. So for this start at 8, I woke up at the butt crack of dawn because you got some goodies. You got a little VIP bag. You got a stress ball, hand sanitizer. Um, and I needed the extra bag to kind of carry around some stuff anyway. So grateful. But my very first purchase was... Um, this is, this is so funny. I haven't, I was gonna say, this is a super fancy bag and I have not actually looked at it until just now. Um, this is my first purchase. It's in a McGee and Company Fine Jewelers. Just, they were selling a bunch of little things. I just got a nano basking ball. This is a 40 watt. This is a miscellaneous item that I grabbed. So before we go any further, I actually got a few more rats for uh, Nymphadora. So I'm actually gonna go run and put those in the freezer really quick. So before we get into the rest of this video, I think it'd be best to tell you guys what is actually, what all of this is going to be used for. It'll make more sense since we're kind of going through it. Um, I said recently in my Instagram stories that I got something for the reptile room that I'm super excited for. And I think I'm gonna tell you guys just so you know what this is gonna be. So. Drum roll, please. I ordered Nymphadora, a 120 gallon four by two by two enclosure customized. Um, I got it through Apex cages, Apex reptile cages. I am so excited to get this. You get to choose your options, whether it's different doors, screen top, not a screen top, it's a PVC enclosure. So a lot of the things I got today are to help me build that because my goal is to make a 3D background, a um, foam background, kind of cut it down with the help of some friends also here on the platform. So um, let's get into it. I want to show you what I got to fill that up. So excited. First and foremost, I got a thing of a box of terrarium moss. This was $12.95. It's a large size. Um, I was trying to find my options today and like see what would be the best price. So I just grabbed this, but this is just from ZooMed. Second thing, third thing, I got a bag of Zilla Jungle Mix. So the reason I got this was because I want to put this on the silicone background uh, that I'm doing so it sticks on and looks realistic. So this is going to be more of a background purpose item rather than substrate. So I may or may not have to end up getting another one of these at a local store um, like Buzz and Bees. Hey Buzz and Bees, Erie PA. It was $12.50. Anything else in this bag? I got a oh, I got a magnet. You're going on my fridge. I was looking for this. Another thing I got was this big piece of vine. Guess how much I paid for this? Seven dollars. Seven dollars. I thought it was gonna be so much more, and looking at it online, it was also super expensive. Well, more expensive than seven dollars super nice couple sent uh sold this to me um i didn't get like any business cards today so i feel so bad but i plan on using this to kind of add enrichment to make it look super realistic a bunch of wood and cork pieces to incorporate in i also got one two three a mini guy i got a bunch of cork pieces to also put flat into the back of um, the wall of the enclosure just to kind of give a little bit of texture. Realistic is the word of the day. So I was probably at the expo for an hour and a half, hour 45. Um, got to look around, kind of compare prices and stuff. It was great. Highly recommend. Loved it. We'll definitely go back again. After that, I went down the street about four minutes to the closest Home Depot. I actually bought four um, of the advanced silicone. I have four of these. Um, Ricky, uh, Smut and Exotics helped me so much. Uh, I had to ask him like which ones to use and he was so helpful because he does a lot of amazing enclosures. So thank you, Ricky. I think these were the more pricey ones because these I think were like $11 a piece. Um, they're specific obviously, so they work for and say for reptiles, amphibians, enclosures and whatnot, waterproof, etc. Um, so these I think were actually the ones that were a little more expensive, probably between 11 to $13 for each. These were the not so expensive. So this is the um, the foam that sprays. It expands. This will help kind of create my um, background at first. These were probably like 
four or five bucks a piece, so not bad. I also got four of these. Thank you guys so much for watching, um, and head to my Instagram for little updates, and hopefully for when I get my enclosure in and start to build it. Thanks. Bye. Kerchow. Remy, I'm pooped. The last little bit of information I want to squeeze in for you guys is I was this close to buying like a five pack of um, beetles today. I'm just saying that purchase might be coming soon too. So. <laughs>